In this video, I've reversed the fuel consumption on the F1 cars, meaning the more fuel they burn, the more weight they will gain. This means the car will be really fast at the start of the race due to underfueling, but will gradually get slower as the race goes on. As usual, there is always a twist in my modding video, so be sure you stay tuned for that, and let's jump into the video. Welcome back, gentlemen, to another video where I ruined this game beyond recognition, and that is right, nothing is safe, just like the cheese in my fridge at 3 a.m. And speaking of 3 a.m., I just want to shout out to my fellow Aussies that are gonna have to wake up at Sparrow Far in the morning to get up for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. But enough talk, let's jump into testing out this mod right now. We are here in Spain to make sure the mod is working as it should, as I don't have a great track record for this working. And as you can see, I've already blown up an engine. I have a really bad track record of blowing up engines, it seems. Also, we know that Vettel won't be racing anymore this year as he straight up died from smoke inhalation due to my engine. Okay, we're back, guys, and I've actually fixed the mod so the engine isn't blowing up this time. So now we should pick a car and head over to Saudi Arabia for the Grand Prix. As you might have already noticed, I've included the F1 2023 liveries mod, and if you'd like to go check this out, I'll leave a link in the description as I didn't create this one. It's not the main point of this video, but I think the liveries look pretty good considering they were made in such a short amount of time. But uh, we're going to be picking Esteban Ocon. As, uh, as of recent, he's suited my driving style. Sorry, Ben, but there could only be one Australian on the podium. Anyways, we are here in Saudi Arabia running minimum fuel as we'll be gaining fuel and weight throughout the race, starting off light, but then having to deal with the really heavy car towards the end of the race, but it's five lights and away we go. Anyways, we're going to get stuck into this race. As you can see in the bottom right corner, our fuel load is very low, even lower than your expectations for this video. But the AI have the same settings, so they'll be dealing with the same problems that we face. Just as we're about to complete the first lap, we've also gained a lap of fuel, and that means a lap of extra weight as we dive down the inside into turn one on Gasly and Ricardo as well. Ricardo being non-existent in this season as he was last season. I do have to say Ricardo is the real winner here though, not having to drive that McLaren. Also, when McLaren was launching their car for this year, they managed to get Vicstar on the panel, also known as Victim. And this is so he could join the other victims, which are the drivers for McLaren this season. Anyways, we are back to the race and currently Stroll is trying to run away from me like celebrities run away from Martin Brundle. Why are you running? Well, this is gonna be an optimistic move, but we're gonna try and go around the outside for this very very high speed left hands are and uh, avoiding contact, I think we just managed to get the move done. He's still side by side, but he will yield that position. There's a whole bunch of cars in front of us, including Albon, Bordas, I, I think I could see Perez as well. And uh, I think that the door's open. Should we send it? No. <laughs> We're going to be more conservative than Pirelli's tyre choice for every race weekend. Okay, we're about to start lap three now. We've still got a whole bunch of cars fighting in front of us. I think Bottas is trying to make a move on Perez here into turn one. Uh, with this aggression, it must be definitely post-mullet Bottas because pre-mullet Bottas would not have gone for this move. And uh, they're still side by side exiting turn two. Uh, this is going to give me a good chance to catch up to the both of them. But now that I've actually caught up to both of them, it's pretty much impossible to overtake any of them because they're blocking the entire road. In 2021, this would have been considered the battle of the number two drivers, and um, I guess you could add me to the mix too because I'm definitely not a number one driver. Bottas and Perez still going side by side. By the end of this lap, it's been ages, but we've got the straight line speed just as it passed them, and now the fuel is starting to add onto the car. It is starting to weigh the car down. The AI are definitely dealing with the same issue, but I can definitely feel the performance of the car slipping away. So we're going to dive into the pits now. It's lap five. Let's see if we can emerge in front of the battle pack that we just uh, pitted behind. And if we can emerge in front of them, that'll save us a whole bunch of time instead of overtaking them. But we've messed up the pit entry and that's going to be a slow stop. And, uh, oh no, we're being held up. We've been held up so much by traffic in the pits. And we're behind Bordas again. Well, that's just brilliant. All right then, mullet man, let's uh, overtake you again. Gonna go around the outside. I don't know why I picked uh, the outside. I should have gone down the inside, but at least I've got the racing line and the traction on the exit of the corner to make that pretty easy. We're on to lap seven now. This is where the battle pack is coming back out. This is the one that we pitted behind and we have come out behind Alonso. Alonso would be much more happy that he's driving that Aston Martin instead of this Alpine. But unfortunately in this mod, he is still stuck in that Alpine. So let's see if we can make the move up the inside instead of the outside on Stroll. And uh, move done. 
up into P9 and we've got Norris who's luckily got the performance of last year's McLaren but that won't stop us making the move around the outside and uh, eventually getting the traction to uh, come out of that corner ahead of Norris which brings us up into P8. Apparently this year Saudi Arabia has changed a lot of the curbs. Shame it's not on the game yet. Hey guys welcome back to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and I've only got 1.5 laps of under fuel remaining so that means the car is getting pretty heavy at this point but that won't stop us going up the inside of Sebastian Vettel and we get the job done. It is getting very difficult with the weight of this car now uh, but we're up into P6 and I think we're just gonna run out of time and we're not going to catch Leclerc here. If we had another lap, we probably could have got him uh, with the amount of DRS zones or the length of the DRS zones on this track. But uh, we're going to bring it home in P6. And I think that's a pretty solid job considering we started from the back of the pack. Very weird experience having the worst of the performance in the car at the end of the race instead of the start of the race as the car is very heavy and the tyres are worn at the end. And it looks like George the NPC has won the race. Okay gentlemen, for this race we are changing the rules. In the previous race we had equal performing cars. This race it'll be only my car that has the reverse fuel burn. Every other car will have regular fuel burn but I will be starting the race really light and gaining weight as the race goes on. Once again, we'll be starting off with the minimum fuel load as we will have an advantage with starting that rather than having a full fuel tank and it getting even larger somehow. That would be an awful idea, but we have five red lights and still waiting. <laughs> and away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Also, my home Grand Prix I will be going to, even though I had to take out a mortgage to pay for the tickets, but Heading into turn one, we are against 110 AI this time, gentlemen. So we're going to need to make hay while the sun shines because we are going to have a very heavy car towards the end of this race. So we're going to dive up the inside, try and make uh, a move on as many cars as possible while still keeping it clean. Got our stroll on the outside there and uh, nothing really going on around the outside of that corner, that's for sure. I wanted to give credit again to the mod creators for the liveries. Uh, they're pretty damn good, especially... Uh, the way they look under the lights of Saudi Arabia, I thought they looked stunning. And uh, we managed to get past Stroll, and up next, we have Vettel. This is going to be a late lunge if we can pull this off on Vettel. Uh, not a great overtaking place on the circuit, but it's one of the few overtaking places that Australia has. So you've got to make uh, the most of what you've got. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for your chance to win Leclerc's Control Electronics from the Bahrain Grand Prix. All right, it's that time of the video where I reveal what I've modded in the game that is the twist. And for this video, I've made the ERS or the overtake button twice as strong for myself to try and get past these 110 AI. And you might be thinking, contrast, that's a bit too OP because you've got twice as strong of an overtake button and your car is well underway compared to the AI who are running a regular fuel burn. And I agree with you, but here's the thing. My car is going to be a lot heavier towards the end of the Grand Prix, so I'm going to try and make full use of the overtake button while I can. And uh, we'll see just how weak my car gets towards the end of this race as it gets heavier. But for now, we are making really good progress as we get past Magnussen and we have Joe up next. And I gotta say, this car is really fast on the straights uh, with this overtake button active. It's actually really hard to pull the car up. So maybe in another video, I've got to improve the brakes sometime. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me mod next and I look forward to seeing your suggestions. You can see us gaining weight pretty rapidly in the bottom right corner. Australia is a pretty high uh, fuel consumption track as we go down the inside of Bodas. Once again, we got to utilize this time and as if you couldn't make it up, uh, we have a safety car deployed now. People are going to be saying this video is more scripted than Arava's career mode. And you know what? It looks like for once I've actually nailed the turn in for the pit stop. So hopefully we don't get held as long. And yep, we do not get held up by the rest of the pack. We are onto the mediums for the rest of the race, which is, of course, the worst tire to be on. And uh, we're going to have to deal with the tire wear and the extra weight of the car towards the end of this race and my engine's doing really weird stuff at the moment I don't know if you can see in the bottom right corner I'm um, it's currently like negative 80 degrees I hope we can still make it to the end of this race but evidently enough I have Norris all over me as he dives down the inside that was kind of a dodgy overtake there but uh we we managed to get back in front gonna use the overtake button to try and escape Norris's barrage of attacks 
Uh, but we are simply a lot heavier than we were at the start of this Grand Prix. And now that the 110 AI have burnt off a lot of fuel, they are, I'd say, faster than me at this point in the race. So I'm going to have to go in defensive mode as Norris goes past us. And it looks like Gasly will be the next to launch an attack on us. I am just struggling so much to pull up the car now because it's heavier. And I've got uh, a lot of tire wear and also the overtake button just makes me build up so much speed up into the braking zone. So it makes it very, very difficult to uh, pull up the car at the end of a straight. Bottas has moved in front of us, but he did it just as we got onto the straight. So we're going to get that position back and hopefully we can hold on to this position to the end of the race because we've only got one and a half laps remaining. That's Ricardo. <laughs> He's going to send this wide onto the curb. Very very dodgy overtake there you can see the car is all over the place as we are coming through the last sector to finish off this race we have everyone behind us trying to get past but uh, Sergio Perez wins this race and uh, we're going to bring it across the line in P9 what an interesting race being on the attack for the first half and literally on the defense for the second half including a safety car I think that's a pretty interesting race if you ask me. Haven't ever driven something like that before, having all the performance at the start and very limited performance at the end. But I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. There was other things I had to do, like raise the ride height of the car so that I utilized the top speed uh, going down the straights because it had so much speed from the ERS button. And uh, yeah, it was just really interesting. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in a brand new one.